Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a memory planning process for you. I am planning on um, working on the week of January 17th through the 23rd. I have pulled out the Seasons of Color, the large book and the regular value pack sticker book. So I'm going to use some of these florals. I have all my pictures picked out and we're just going to get going. So if you're interested in checking this out, stay tuned. As always, I will link things that I end up using down below so you can check those out as well. All right, let's go. All right, so this was a pretty typical week for my family, but I decided to go with a winter theme for um, the background of the spread just because we were experiencing a lot of the super cold temperatures, lots of time inside because it was so cold outside. So I went with the winter theme and I love these really big sticker books from the Happy Planner because I feel like you're able to get a lot of decor on the page, a lot of um, color, with not a lot of stickers and not a lot of um, other pieces. Like it's not super hard to go ahead and set the tone for the page. So this is the main page I'm going to use. And then I'm looking for the coordinating stickers in the value pack sticker book. And it turns out they're at the very front of this book. You can see I don't use these florals very often in my planner, but I think they happen to be really, really good um, for memory planners just because they add um, such a big focal point and they set such a tone for the page because of their seasonal nature. It works out really well. So we're going to put let it snow over here in the corner and what I'm doing here at the beginning. Now normally I would put my photos down first. I'm always about putting the biggest elements down first but in this case these stickers are the biggest elements on the page. So I'm trying to make sure I know where these are going to be. They are going to be in the very very back of the page. They are the background. Sometimes when I add stickers or ephemera, they layer over the pictures and so they're more in the foreground. I know that I want these in the background and the pictures are going to be more in the foreground. So I need to get these large stickers down first and then I can start putting the different photos down on the page. I'm trying to create a bit of a triangle here. So you can see I have the two bottom corners and then I have a piece that's going over in between the two pages. And now I'm going to balance that up with the top corner right here. And I have the keep warm and snuggle. We'll balance that out with a quote over here on the left side as well, which says peace and joy. Originally, I was like, maybe I shouldn't do peace and joy. That feels a little bit more Christmas-like, but I think it works for that soft, peaceful moment when um, snow is coming. Um, I think it, I think it works. And then plus the colors work really well with the spread. All right. So once I have all of the main big stickers down, that is when I'm going to start working with the photos. I thought it would be fun to create little photo flip up journaling spots. So these are really all I'm doing, taking this dark piece of cardstock, folding it, and then I will put the photo on the front like this and then I'll trim around it so that you can flip up and you will have room for either another photo, you can add some different journaling, just all kinds of options. And so I decided a few of those around the page would be a great, this is a really great solution if you're wanting to add more journaling, maybe even in your regular planner, not a big sized memory planner, um, and you don't have quite enough room, like a picture heavy week, this would be a great option because you could just flip up the pictures, add your journaling there, flip it down. It is a little bit more bulky than you would have in a typical memory planner spread but doing this every now and then is a fun to add the interactive element and be um, really as a safe uh, space saver on your layout I'm focusing first on the flip up pictures and those are all going to be on this darkest blue and I just want to make sure it's spread out over this over the whole layout I don't want them all clustered together so I'll pick four two on each side so that there is a good balance whenever I'm using scrapbook paper even when it is solid colored scrapbook paper I do like to make sure there is balance so if I use this light icy blue on the left then I want to make sure I use the icy blue on the right and kind of go back and forth with those just so I know they're spread across the page um, and there's not too much of a cluster unless that is a specific intention. So sometimes I use 
um, different colors to cluster photos together, meaning all of these happen on one day. I can't fit them all in one day, so I'll um, put them all in the same color and that'll kind of signify it. So you can use your papers in a lot of different ways and that's one of the joys of memory planning. All right, once I get all of the photos matted, then I will just adhere them down on the page and I can do the last little bit of decorating. You can see that because of how large these stickers are, there's already a lot on the page. It doesn't take a lot more effort. And that's one of the, again, the pros of using these large sticker pieces. These books are a lot of fun. I like that they do the books now instead of the Mambi sticks. I love the Mambi sticks, but it's hard to keep all those loose uh, sticker sheets together. So I like that they are in books ahead of time. All right, so I am just pulling from the value sticker book now. It's a little bit off screen and I'm just using some of these lighter color flowers to fill in and add in just a little floral detail in some of the spots where there is not much going on. And I know that I'm going to have plenty of journaling room underneath these little flip cards, so that'll be perfect. And then I can add some lines in as well. And because these uh, most of these stickers are paper stickers, I can also write over the top of them if need be. And that's another plus if you're looking at which stickers to use in your memory planner. Paper stickers you can always write on top of, um, which is nice if you're you know needing just a little bit of extra room. You can see as I trim off all of the extra pieces, I'm definitely not wasting any. I'm trimming and then moving them around the page just to fill in the spread even more. Even these tiny little bits and pieces really add just a tiny little flare of, you know, greenery or some foliage peeking out from behind the photos. And I really think it makes a difference in the end on your spread looking um, even more detailed. Now I was trying to decide if I wanted to put any lines on this spread at all. So normally I add in lines for journaling. I knew my journaling would be in these little flip cards. And so I thought maybe I just won't put in any lines. However, I think I'm just super used to a way I like the memory spread to look that not having any words here on the front um, was going to kind of throw me off a little bit. So after I add these last little bits of foliage, you'll see some of them I stick like right down in the middle of certain places. And then I change my mind because I do want to add lines. I do want to add a little journaling that you can see right when you turn to the page. See this one I'm going to put down. I'm like, oh, I'll just, we won't have lines. I'll just put that there. And then I was like, nope, can't do it. Got to have lines. <laughs> I can't bust out of that pattern. That's, I think you get into a pattern and you know what? I'm still in that pattern and I still like it. So those are all um, great and in place. Sticker is done. I'll cut a parts the two pages. Again, I'm going to grab my We Are Memory Keepers disc punch to punch out those holes. It is fabulous for when you're um, just needing to punch one or two holes. It works really well, lines up perfectly. It's a super easy tool to use. If you like the disc bound system, I feel like this is one of those must have tools in your stash. Okay, so like I said, the last step here will be adding in lines. I will use a dark blue flare pen to add in lines in this little section. And then as I work through the flip cards, I'll actually use a white um, gel pen to add lines there. Once I do the journaling off camera, that will be it for this memory planner spread. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Like I said earlier, I will link all of the supplies that I used down below so you can check those out if you are interested. I want to give a huge shout out to my scrappy patrons. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you want to find out more about all that we are doing over on Patreon, then you can click the link that is in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have an absolutely fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.